So saying Jordan gets that initial takedown. Mm -hmm. um, didn't seem to phase you much. Does that kind of sharpen your focus a little bit, knowing that he's he's coming at you? Yeah, I think. I mean, even if he doesn't take me down right away, I, th I think I know he's coming at me. You know, he's a competitor, and I think all of these college guys at this level are c coming at you. So. If you get taken down in that situation, um, you know, I don't really, if I get taken down, I don't really think about it as a negative. Just, I mean, you can either look at it as I need to come back or put your head down. And putting your head down doesn't do you any good, so you got to make the most of that. It looked like there was a point in the third period when you were riding him that pretty much took the fight out of him. Could you feel that? Uh, no, I didn't really feel that, but uh, I, I just focusing on to keep scoring points. I, I wasn't sure sure what the score was exactly, but um, you know, if there's time on the clock, I want to keep scoring. You look at this weight class the last couple of weeks, big match with Sorensen a couple of weeks ago, Micah Jordan. Where do you go mentally, Zane? I mean, you guys all look like you're having a lot of fun, but I mean, you got to go to a certain special place. Where do you go? How do you get there? Uh, just having fun with it, like you said. Uh, you know, our team, they're competitive, but uh, we have fun. You know, we're out there dancing and whatever before the match. Uh, keeping things light, but you know, when it's go time, it's go time. So um, always keeping that in your mind, but being loose too. You know, um, I think when I don't, if I don't wrestle well, like I feel like I can sometimes. I feel like I'm, you know, too rigid or uptight. So just, you know, remembering to relax and have fun with it. It's a sport. So They had more than 15,000 fans in here, and they were pretty loud at times. How satisfying is it to walk off the mat and uh, not hear a whole lot of noise? Uh, it's, it's fun to wrestle in this environment for sure. I think this was the biggest crowd they ever had. I think this is what they said out there. So um, yeah, it's, it, was, it was fun. Uh, you know, their fans were loud and yeah, it's, it's fun to wrestle here as it is at home. Same thing. What was the key coming into tonight against Jordan? Uh, you know, just wrestling my, how I want to wrestle. You know, I got taken down twice, I think. So you really can't, you know, Put your head down, like I said earlier about it. You know, you just keep wrestling, keep scoring points, and have fun with it. And I think that's what I did. Did you spend a lot of time um, preparing for him, or is it more about what you're doing and you really just focus on yourself? Um, I'm aware of some of the things that he does, but at the end of the day, you know, uh, you really, it's it comes down to you know the spur of the moment. You know, wrestling's not a set thing. Um, you can't predict what he's gonna do. You just kind of control what you're going to do. So that's the way I look at it. You know, control what I can, be conscious of some things that he does well, but at the end of the day, I got to focus on where I want to be in positions. Bo got a big win, avenged the loss in the finals last mm -hmm. year. What uh, What do you think about that match? Yeah, he wrestled well. I think um, they had some really good flurries, both of them, uh, throughout the match, and Bo, Bo came out on top on a couple of those, but, you know, it was a... It was a grind, you know, Miles came out ready to wrestle and I think Bo wrestled well. <laughs> NCAA wrestling standings came out as far as dominant wrestlers. Mm -hmm. Penn State, you're number one. Nickel, I believe, is two. Nolf was tied with Gabe Bean for third. Now I'm thinking that pin okay. put him, has you guys going one, two, three. Does that motivate you guys? I mean, is that a healthy competition in the room? I mean, are you guys paying uh, attention to that stuff? I don't know. Well, you can say it, Zane. No, I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun to compete, Why not? compete with those guys on that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, we're just taking it match by match, I think. Uh, I think that's uh, that's the way I'm approaching it. Um, doing my best, whatever that is, regardless of who it is. Not really focused on outdoing somebody, you know. Uh, um, just doing whatever my best is at the moment. What's the biggest value that Jason Nolf brings to you as a teammate and training partner? I mean, Nolf's great. I mean, he's a great friend. Uh, you know, always helping me with techniques and, and uh, you know, just keeping me relaxed. He's fun to be around, so I think the greatest value is just just being himself, being Nolf. Uh, wrestles hard. I get to wrestle with him whenever we'll, we go a lot in the room. And, uh, you know, he's, he's fun to wrestle with. We get to try new things, learn from each other, you know, push each other. So uh, he's a great partner to have around. Going back a couple of weeks ago to Sorensen of Iowa, uh, last year beat him up pretty good a couple of times. Of course, great match uh, there in Carver Hawkeye. What were the thoughts in your mind on that trip back to Penn State? What'd you take away from that match? Uh, just, just got to wrestle better. I think uh, I had some some stuff to work on, and I'm I'm glad. You know, he came out ready to wrestle, and in a uh, home environment, it was loud in there. It was it was awesome in there. So you know, I, I got to also I got to come out ready to wrestle next time. Uh, 
get to positions that I want to be in. Uh, just, just that kind of thing. Uh, just wrestle a better match. What makes him so tough? Swords and so tough? Yeah. Um, I mean, he's a goer. He didn't. We went, I don't know how long, 11 minutes or whatever, and he's wrestling the entire time. So, yeah, <laughs> you're getting bunny years behind you. No, but, uh, no if you're next. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, he, he's a tough competitor. He, he won't, he'll fight you every second, so I think that's what makes him tough. Coach hinted that you might not have been feeling your best that night. Did that, did that match, did that win come down to will if you weren't at, your, if you weren't at 100%? I was at 100%, so there's there's no excuse there. I just got to wrestle better. Uh, but yeah, I think it came down to will. Uh, I was I myself. I felt like I was sloppy in some positions that you know I, I got to do better there. So um, yeah, there was a couple. I was extended, and I think he took me down. And I got an escape, and I just remember I have to score now to send it in overtime. So there was one where I just pulled it in. I remember um, that was a gut check, and then overtime just. Yeah, I think that was a gut check as well. Thanks, Zane. Yeah. Thanks, Zane. Thank you.